Hi everyone, welcome to Next 2021. We're very excited to have you join our session. In this session, we'll talk about how Google Cloud Platform and technologies like BigQuery, Looker, and Apigee can help your organizations transform, unlock innovation and flexibility by adopting a multi-cloud strategy. I'm Vidya Shanmugam, Product Manager at Google Cloud. I also have with me Joe Malone, Product Manager at Google Cloud, and Nitin Doger, Data Engineering and Enablement Manager at Johnson & Johnson. In this session, we'll talk about the various multi-cloud challenges and GCP's approach to solving them. We'll share BigQuery Omni's general availability, also provide an intro to cross-cloud transfer service, and see a demo of how BigQuery Omni works. You'll hear from our customer, Johnson & Johnson, about their multi-cloud journey with BigQuery. Let's jump in. Multi-cloud is not going anywhere. In fact, it's continuing to grow at a rapid pace. Even from the time we launched BigQuery Omni, our multi-cloud service in preview over a year ago, the number of organizations who are relying on multi-cloud for their infrastructure needs has jumped from 80% to over 90%. Enterprises are not consolidating on a single platform or a solution. Instead, they're expanding and they're proliferating the data stack across clouds. We have heard from our customers about the challenges multi-cloud analytics and management creates, some of them being data silos. Analysts and IT leaders want easy access and single view to the data across clouds. They want secure management of this data. There are too many copies of data making it inconsistent and not fresh. Analysts and data scientists have advanced analytics needs. They want to analyze and visualize this data to help their organizations with intelligent and data-driven insights. Customers want simple and flexible pricing. Our goal with GCP's multi-cloud approach is to not only provide our customers tools to manage this decentralized data, but to also solve their business problems. Let's see how. We have a portfolio of tools to offer to address the various challenges we've talked about. For example, BigQuery helps you simplify, integrate, and analyze your data across clouds at scale. With modern BI tools such as Looker, you get aggregated dashboarding and reporting. Looker's in-database architecture allows you to directly connect with the underlying cloud or hybrid database, enabling cross-database queries or joins. Looker's cloud-native and agnostic architecture makes it compatible for any multi-cloud strategy. Developers can build applications and access them either through the BigQuery API or Apigee, irrespective of where the data resides in. One of the key areas we're investing in in our multi-cloud portfolio is in BigQuery Omni. We are super thrilled to announce the general availability of BigQuery Omni for AWS and Azure. We will be launching in two regions, AWS US East 1 and Azure US East 2, and continuing to roll out in more regions in 2022. BigQuery Omni is core to delivering on our multi-cloud promise. Many of our preview customers have told us that a truly differentiated solution needs to be secure, needs to provide cross-cloud analytics at scale through a single pane of glass. I'm happy to share that BigQuery Omni delivers on all of these. Omni allows you to cooperate your data silos through a single unified experience. You don't need to move or copy your data. Omni also helps you integrate your data across clouds through a net new capability called cross-cloud transfer. Cross-cloud transfer allows you to bring your results back to GCP if you choose to. You can leverage capabilities like BQML, Looker, on this combined data to get the benefits of GCP and BigQuery. We're very excited to be the first cloud provider to offer cross-cloud analytics at scale. Omni also helps you securely analyze your data across another public cloud using a fully managed infrastructure. You can query the data without worrying about the underlying hardware. Compute resources done local to the storage, providing you a seamless data analysis experience. Our vision is to provide a cohesive multi-cloud platform for analytics. Let's see how these pieces fit together. As you saw, 
BigQuery Omni helps solve your challenges with data silos. On top of it, you can get consistent, fine-grained security and governance through a feature called Authorized External Table that's coming soon. In the future, you can also leverage materialized views for cross-cloud scenarios and get fresh data and insights. With cross-cloud transfer, you can do cross-cloud analytics. This data now becomes universally accessible to tools like Looker, ML models, and all your analytics needs. As you can see, our unified platform will solve many of your multi-cloud challenges. Let's take a deeper look at cross-cloud data transfer before we dive into the demo. We have heard from our customers that it's simply not enough to provide access to underlying data in different clouds. Customers also want to combine the relevant data, for example, marketing and inventory data, ads and buyer profile data, to drive intelligent data-driven decisions in the simplest and most cost-effective way. We are excited to announce the first of the cross-cloud features, cross-cloud transfer. Cross-cloud transfer enables customers to bring just the data they need when they need it. The preview of this feature will be coming soon. With that, I'd like to pass it on to Joe, who will be showing us a demo of these awesome capabilities. Thank you, Vidya. Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Malone. I'm a product manager for BigQuery Omni. I'm here to present a demo. So let's hop in. Before I hop directly into the demo, I want to provide an outline of what I'll be covering. First, I'll show you how Omni provides a single pane of glass to provide access to data across clouds. Two, I'll show you how we drive a consistent governance model. And then three, I'll show you how we provide simple data movement when necessary to move data between clouds. And just as a heads up, I'll be referring to a fictitious scenario in which I assume that I am an analyst for a mobile gaming company that has multiple titles that has data residing across all of the different clouds. So this will demonstrate how Omni helps to solve the challenges of an analyst who is dealing with a multi-cloud reality. So now here we are in BigQuery. And as an analyst, what I want to take a look at is all of my player data for my titles across all of the clouds that I have. So if I expand my project, you'll see a list of all of our different data sets on here. I first want to look at this player data. So we'll do a search. So we'll see player data for AWS as a data set, player data for Azure, player data for BigQuery, and then player data for GCS or Google Cloud Storage. Now, what these represent is data that are residing in all different types of storage environments across our different clouds. So we see our player data for G-Ball, our basketball title, being stored on AWS. G-Puck, our hockey title, on Azure. For Golf, BigQuery, and then for G-Hoop, our separate basketball title on Google Cloud Storage. Now, historically, what we would have asked a customer to do in order to analyze data in BigQuery is move a copy of the data from AWS to, to BigQuery itself. But because we have Omni computing locally on AWS, we can now query underlying data. I'll give you a sense of what this GBall data looks like in AWS. Here we are in S3 is that file being stored on AWS through a connection managed by a service account. We can now analyze that data on S3, query the underlying file and return results back to BigQuery without moving the data at all. So I'll do just that. I'll just query all the different user IDs across these uh, that particular file, run this query, it executes locally and then return just the results of that query. Now, the great thing about Omni being a single pane of glass is the same way in which we run that query against AWS data is the same way in which we would run that query against Azure data, against BigQuery data, and against GCS data. So all of this access methodology does not incur any more skills or copies of data on the, the analyst. Next, let's talk about an awesome new feature that allows us to centralize governance across all of our data sources. We'll be launching a feature called Authorized External Tables here in preview very soon. All of these data tables are actually set up with one of these authorized external tables. And what these tables allow us to do is delegate access and control fine grained security policies at the table, the column, or the row level. So for example, here, I've added a policy tag on top of our PII data fields. So first name and last name have these sensitive data policy tags. So 
And for our AWS data source, let's go ahead and query this data. And what you'll see here, if I do a select star, because I'm trying to query a column that I do not have access to that security tag against, then you will get an error around not having that level of access. Now this is great because as a security team and as an admin team, I can consistently apply these tags across all of the data sources, whether it's on AWS, Azure, BigQuery, or Google Cloud Storage in a very uniform way so that it's more consistent and more secure. Similarly, on this same data set, if I were to avoid accessing the, the sensitive columns and just do the columns I have access to, you'll see at the top that I also have row level security layered on as well. So in a very simple fashion, we can layer on column and row level security so that the users only have access to the data they need regardless of the cloud that they're working against. The final feature that I'll demonstrate for you today allows analysts to combine data across clouds. We are going to launch a product feature called Cross Cloud Transfer in preview soon that allows an analyst to move data from AWS or Azure into BigQuery so that you can support more advanced analytics like joins. So in order to demonstrate this feature, what I first done is created a aggregated table, which is currently just a copy of the GGolf data on BigQuery but filter down to only the fields that we need. So just running a quick aggregate on top of that, you'll see that this is simply just aggregated data for GGolf. So grouping by the titles, you'll see that there are currently 45,000 weekly interactions on GGolf. Now, what I want to do now is combine that GGolf data with the GBall data as it exists on AWS. So what I'll do first is filter this, similarly, just the fields that we need to transfer using an export data query. So we are going to match the schema so we can bind the two tables, see just the fields are the same as we have in that aggregate table. This will filter down the file, export the data file into AWS in S3 as a new file. So let me refresh in S3, you'll see that filter file in AWS. Now, the real feature that we are demonstrating here is this opportunity to load that filtered file into the aggregated table that you see right here. Now, this is our cross cloud transfer feature that enables with just simple SQL, the ability to load a file from AWS or Azure or GCS into BigQuery as a new table so that you can do advanced analytics. So I will run this now. And there you go, we've loaded this file into GCP. Now, just to show you that that data is now all in that aggregated table, I ran an aggregation, and now you'll see that the two titles are now combined into the same aggregated table. So with cross-cloud transfer, this load statement allows an analyst with native SQL to be self-sufficient in combining data across clouds. They do no longer need to tap on the shoulder of a data engineer, or a security member to, to get the data transferred across these two environments. So in summary, Omni will provide a single pane of glass with consistent governance and simple data movement so that analysts can drive democratization of data, secure analytics, and differentiated value across all clouds. Thank you, and Nitin, over to you. Thank you, Joe, and I'd like to thank Google team today for giving me this opportunity to present at Google Next. I'm Nathan Dogger, and I'm part of Data Engineering and Enablement Group at Janssen Pharmaceuticals of Johnson & Johnson Company. My group manages data and analytics application for Janssen Commercial in North America. We collect, organize, and make available data from various internal applications and third-party data providers to help our analysts and data scientists provide insights to the business. We have petabytes of data stored across commercial clouds, and it's increasing every day. We use multiple cloud environments such as Google, Azure, AWS, and internal company cloud for data collection. And this is because of various reasons. For example, where the data is generated, how historically technologies were approved within the company, cloud costs, etc. As I previously mentioned, we have data stored across multiple clouds. Many times users get into the issue where data has to be brought together to a single platform before scientists or analysts can work on it. This becomes a repetitive activity 
where this has to be done often and sometimes many times in the day. Bringing data together also leads to duplicating of the data across clouds, which increases both her storage and compute costs. Working with multiple clouds, users first have to spend time learning the cloud specific tools or data warehouse databases, rather than focusing on their core work, which is providing insights to the business. What users are looking for is a faster time to market, which means for them is faster insights into the data and faster processing of the data. So how does Omni solve all these challenges? What we envision is that since Omni can work across clouds, it can provide more efficiencies to our analysts and data scientists in many ways. They will be able to spend more time analyzing the data rather than trying to bring it together. They will be able to use a single platform to access data stored anywhere in the cloud. Once the connections are configured, users can go to one place, write SQL queries, and access data stored anywhere. It will help the users to update their reports and models anytime by just including the missing elements or newly added data sets. There's no dependency on engineering teams to first update the data pipelines to access the data. And for the organization, Omni will provide a fully managed platform that is both flexible and secure. We will not have to manage compute storages capacities at any time will not have to train new members joining the team on all the different technologies that we use across clouds. We can manage data access and data securities from one place using BQ Omni. Also, since the BQ Omni computes are based on Dremel technologies and are managed by Google, we won't have to worry about scaling the Omni system for any slowness in performance or things like that. In our POC, we saw pretty good performance results with Omni, more of which I will share in my next slide. Few months back, we did a POC for B on BQ Omni, where it, it was still in pre-GA phase to understand the capabilities of the platform. For the POC, we use industry standard one terabyte TPC DS dataset stored in Parquet file format on the cloud native storages. We executed the same queries across multiple different warehouses that support reading data directly from the cloud storages. And here are some of the aggregated numbers that we saw where overall Omni performance was much better. In our first test, we connected Omni to JNJ Cloud to make sure that it can connect using JNJ data access policies that are already restrictive. And <clears throat> we, to our surprise, we saw that we can connect to Omni easily without issues. We found that Omni was significantly better and faster than other similar applications that are available on the clouds. We could write back query results and to other cloud storages easily, and multi-users and parallel queries had no performance issues with BQ Omni. So what this all means to us? How we see Omni is that it can be a single plane of glass using which we can connect to various cloud storages and access data using SQL-like queries. It can provide faster time to market where the data users can get access to data quickly and are able to process data at much faster rate. It's a fully managed platform, which reduces our administration overheads and our team can free up doing more work. Omni is easy to set up with other clouds and most importantly, it enables self-service for end users where they have much more flexibility to read and write data across clouds. With that, I'd like to pass back to Vidya. Thanks Joe for the great demo. Thank you, Nitin and j, j for betting on Google Cloud and BigQuery. With that, we're very excited for you to try BigQuery Omni and share with us any stories of how your organization embraces multi-cloud. Thank you for watching this session and for being a part of this event.